What's up YouTube? What I've got for you today is a class setup video. Um, I've made five classes for different types of play styles, so you can choose which one you like. And before you think, why would I follow what this guy says? He's probably a noob. My KD's there, 2.8. It's pretty decent. I'm all right. Uh, and then I've had a couple of nukes, 18 nukes. So yeah, you know, a good players telling you classes, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have a look at the gun, shall we? So the first gun I've done is Cooper. I can't remember what it's called. Cooper Assault Rifle, anyway, the new one. This gun is a joke, man. So you put the right attachments on it, yeah, it melts. So I'll show you the class up in a second. Um, but don't go on hardcore. I made that mistake when I was doing my camos. Yeah, no matter how many damage buffs you put on the gun, it will still give you a hit marker. And that's not what you want in hardcore. Huge disadvantage. Right, let's have a look at the attachments. So, let, oh, let's look at the class first. So, I got a riot shield. You've got to run riot shield if you're not using your secondary because, you know, it's just helpful and you don't get shot in the back all the time. So, ghost, always use ghost. No, literally, always use ghost, okay? Forward intel, don't have to use it, but it's very helpful if you like to know where they're spawning. Overkill for the right shield, uh, gammon bomb and stim all the time. I wouldn't use anything else. That's that's just what I use. So the first attachment on this is the F8 stabilizer for accuracy and damage. So mainly for this build, we want to go for accuracy and damage. That's it. Nothing else, because <laughs> the damage will increase, uh, decrease the accuracy, and you want to balance it out by getting accuracy. So the next one under barrel M1941 hand stop. So again, this is for recoil and accuracy, so just, just making it stable when you're shooting. Next one is the damage mag, which is the, what was it, the 30 carbine 45 round mags. Um, I wouldn't go for the 20, it's just not enough bullets. You could use the 60 round drum mags, but that doesn't give you the damage buff then, it's not as powerful as it could be. So I think 45 rounds is, is enough anyway. Uh, I use lengthen then as well. I don't. I never use compressed rounds because that's only on certain guns. Uh, but it looks like it could be good. It, it gives you plus two fire rate, which is quite a difference. But yeah, I usually use lengthen. Uh, always use stippled grip tape. Uh, always. It gives you recoil, like recoil recovery and initial accuracy and recoil. That's that's just what you need. Right for the next one, which is proficiency. I'm using brace, which again gives you better accuracy but i've just spotted vital and i don't know why i'm not using that actually uh that might be better brace i always use on anything that like whenever there is brace available because it's not available on all guns but vital i think is the best proficiency out there so brace or vital it's up to you then for this i i usually always use fully loaded i like to have maximum ammo when i start uh for the stock um so the stock does quite a decent amount of um, uh, accuracy. So it does plus two initial accuracy and recoil, which is, that's pretty good. And plus one ADS speed, which is a bonus. So that's all right. Uh, for the sight, it's, it's entirely up to you, to be fair. I prefer this red dot sight. I think it's uh, the best one. That's what I use on everything. Uh, the barrel, again, you could use this barrel. Uh, that gives you more damage. Oh uh, no, veloc velo bullet velocity and range and recoil control. But I prefer this one because it makes it more highly controllable. So when you're trying to map someone with it, it's, it's a lot easier. So yeah, that was the Cooper carbine. Right, so now what I've chosen is the MP40. I think everybody can agree with me on this one. This gun is probably the best SMG. No, not probably. It is the best SMG, especially with these attachments. This thing, it can kill from range. It can melt up close. It's literally unstoppable. And you'd be able to get nukes with it. It's easy. It's so easy. Like look at the range on this. Like melted. Like, look at that. Unbelievable. SMG as well. All right. So let's have a look at the attachments. So same class setup again, basically. Same perks. Got the right shield as well, and the gammon bomb and stim. Right for the first attachment for the muzzle, using a suppressor on this one. Well, the M1929 silencer. Um, I prefer a silencer on my SMG. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It does do a little bit of accuracy, slows the ADS speed, but that doesn't really matter. For the underbarrels, just accuracy. M1941 hand stop, recoil, accuracy. Gets rid of hip fire, but that's not really that's that's nothing really. So increased accuracy. 
Then for the magazine, I got the 32 round mags, the 8mm Kurs. This increases the damage and makes the gun basically OP. But if you see there, minus 5 recoil control. That, that like, if you don't put any of these accuracy things on, that makes it kick like mad. You got lengthened on again for the bullet velocity. Use that on basically everyone. There's, I don't really use anything else. Maybe incendiary rounds on shotguns, but that's about it. And stippled grip tape again. It's the, be it's the best grip out of all of those. It just gives you better recoil control. Uh, brace again. There's no vital on this one, so we're going to use initial accuracy and recoil for, for brace. So fully loaded again. I always use There's nothing quick. You could use quick, actually. Makes you run faster. Uh, remove this slot. I prefer movement on the SMG, so you can move faster while ADSing. So I've gone for remove stock. You don't really need any more accuracy boost anyway because you have brace, you've got stipple grip, and you have the M1941 uh, underbarrel. So that all gives you accuracy. So you've got enough accuracy. So for the sights, it's still the red dot sight. It always will be, apart from the class at the end, which I will show you. For the barrel, it's the VDD 189mm short. That's basically just for better damage at range and a little extra damage. No headshot damage though, but that's not too bad because it's just very powerful anyway. Okay, that's it for the MP40, so definitely check that class out. That's uh, definitely one of the most overpowered guns. The next one is a hardcore class with the Owen gun. So if uh, you don't play hardcore, you should definitely go on it and use this because like you have such a big advantage over other players like just look how OP it is like most guns on the hardcore get hit markers but this one one shots even without damage barrels and stuff so if you just focus on the movement so that you can like shoot before the other player does you're basically gonna win and yeah it's got 72 bullets in the mag because you can have the 72 mag and not have to worry about damage rounds so let's have a look at the attachments then shall we um, same perks as the other ones actually let's talk about the perks in a minute you don't need to use forward intel because you don't see the radar but it does help when the UAV's up um, right first attachment is a suppressor silencer it doesn't really matter about the muzzle it doesn't it's not it's not like a it doesn't make a big effect though you prefer to use silencers now the, the next underbarrel is something different it's the SMLE pistol grip so that increases sprint to fire speed um, that's like the main thing it does hit fire as well but don't really hit fire that often but sprint to fire speed is what we want we want like more of like a speedy build for this for hardcore because you need to be like quick on the trigger and then for the rounds uh, it's just the 72 round mags you don't you don't need damage rounds because it one shots anyway um, so and then also it takes the big uh, mag that goes up like out your face it's still in your way and it's still annoying but it, it's not that bad and still grip take again with lengthened as well I forgot to mention brace again could have sleight of hand but is there really any point when you've got 72 rounds fully loaded again just in case you've got in the streak and you, you've like struggling for ammo in it um, and stock hit fire movement speed that's that's the it doesn't see look, it hits the recoil and the accuracy but it doesn't matter because there's so much stuff helping the accuracy anyway. We just want to go for movement on this build. Red dot again. That's why I go. You can choose whatever you want. Um, and then the barrel for like bullet velocity and like long range hit increases limb damage. That's really helpful on hardcore as well. And uh, that's it for the only gun. That setup is really OP, so definitely go try it out. Even if you don't like playing hardcore, I still think you should go have a little go of it. Right, this next setup actually is probably one of my favourites for hardcore. If you want to go out and go get mad, like a, a load of kills, this is the gun to use. It's quick, it's one shot. You just got to be accurate, that's the only thing. But it's just quick. It's got what, 18 foot to the mag, I think it's got, which is pretty good. You just got to be accurate, that's, that's like the main thing. But this is 100% the best gun to use in hardcore. No doubt about it. Right, let's have a look at the attachments on this pistol then. So our first attachment is going to be, again, the silencer. Uh, no particular reason. Doesn't really matter. Um, increases accuracy. 
it, it, none of these stats really matter too much but I always prefer to have a silencer so let's have a look at the next one this again actually doesn't really matter because it like I'm using the rapid action it increases fire rate just in case I need to spam it but again you're playing hardcore it's gonna one shot anyway you don't really need to spam it so again I think you could choose whatever there it doesn't really matter and then for the magazine we're using the nine millimeter 18 round mags and yeah again I'm using lengthened and again I'm using staple grip tape it's, it's just the best ones perfectionist I'm using because it does give you a little bit of kick so and you don't need flinch resistance on hardcore because you're basically gonna die one shot anyway so we go for the recoil as well there's not really anything else that you can really get that's decent so perfectionist is what I've gone for fully loaded obviously for more ammo red dot sight again uh, this is the barrel we're using on this this is the barrel that makes it a one shot at any range hits the fire rate a little bit but that's all right so yeah that's the pistol anyway the rat pistol um, go check it out make sure you use it on hardcore and you will have the time of your life but actually you won't have the time of your life because this next class then you'll have the time of your life and this next class is the bar this is my rage mode class this is what i will pull out if i'm having a bad game or my team are getting slapped or i'm just pissed off you know or if i'm just looking to get a high kill game is this this gun will do all of those for you but it's just easy it's the most powerful thing in the game it's, it's a bit hard at close range i say that but that's why you make sure they don't come close you gotta like i'm doing in this gameplay here but actually there's not a sport what i do but you still got the v2 that's all right but yeah let's have a look at some attachments then shall we uh this thing's a monster absolute monster right so the first one is the mercury silencer of course it's a silencer it's a bit weird though because this silencer actually doesn't sound silenced when it's being shot but it's got the silencer for the recoil yeah for the recoil don't even matter about damage range this thing's powerful enough but uh, you could have recoil booster to inc increase fire rate it's up to you it doesn't really matter uh, the hand stop again for the recoil and the accuracy because it's got so much power you want to boost that accuracy as much as possible damage mags to make sure that it's guaranteed a two shot sometimes you get that odd three shot which is a bit shit but it's all right you could get the 20 round mags but that's still not enough bullets 30 is not even enough bullets lengthened again and stippled grip tape with uh, focus you could use hard scope because it increases accuracy when you're stood still aiming but focus for the flinch fully loaded for the ammo uh, and for the stock we're going to increase some accuracy to maximize the accuracy so we've got mad power and mad accuracy you can't be beaten so for the sight on this one we don't actually have a red dot this time we have a 2.5 times scope I think actually is the perfect scope for it and why am I still looking at the stocks I'm not doing this right now I did this earlier so I don't yeah there we go so the G16 2.5 times that I think that's the perfect uh, sight for it it's not too far away it's not too close but you could still use the red dot sight some people do some people use stupid sniper scopes but that's the one I prefer. For the barrel, this one, there is a more powerful barrel, but this one makes it highly accurate and controllable. That's what makes it so OP at long range because it's so controllable. So I think this barrel, but you could use, I think it's the scythe barrel, um, which increases damage even more, but I don't think it's really necessary because either way, it's still going to be a two-shot kill. Okay, and that's going to wrap it up now then. That's five classes that I think you guys should definitely rock. Um, let me know what you think of this video uh, Definitely something I haven't done before so that's why it probably sounds a bit shit But let me know if you want me to Give tips on something else And yeah, if you've made it this far you are a legend and thank you for watching peace Oh, I was about to say I just died one off the nuke, but I didn't